Hey, good morning. It's uh, Tuesday, December 21st. Happy freaking Yule, winter solstice. Um, I was having a very nice and calm morning. I like woke up early and took care of some errands so that I could come home and just do whatever I want to do, which was meditate and stretch a bit. And um, I have a thing at noon and I realized that I'm running out of time to do a morning reading that it would still be in the morning. And I call them morning readings, even though they don't always, you know, happen before noon, which to me is the technical morning. No. Uh-oh. Let's see what... Wow, so here I was talking about... The video was paused. We're back. I was talking about... <laughs> um, trying to make it in time before an appointment and now this thing has been canceled. It's funny how the universe just provides answers to our problems if we're just open to, you know, obviously I, I've got to be flexible to accepting this change um, without much disappointment and I guess it's fine. So without further ado, let's get into this reading. I did pre-shuffle the cards, but let's just see. more full moon cancer a full a personal issue reaches resolution full moon gemini the answers you need are coming Full moon Aquarius, show the world the real you. Interesting. So, well, full moon Gemini, first of all, this was, this just came, like this was just now, um, over the weekend, the full moon in Gemini. It was a wild one, honestly. It was pretty intense for me. Let me know how it was for you if you watch this video, but, um, Whoa, you know, that's how I felt. And now I'm still feeling the effects of it, but I feel like it's it's a little bit more like because I can feel movement. Now I'm just I'm just riding this wave no longer in the undertow, just just riding the wave here as gently as possible and taking a lot of time for myself before the holidays. So. Show the world the real you. I mean, this is telling me that this this reading is going to be about, well, first of all, the full moon in Gemini, one of the messages of full moon in Gemini was about um, how we communicate, how we show up in relationships is really um, a testament or really a reflection of ourselves. Like we think we, sh we show up to a relationship and we're just looking at this other person and their actions words, reactions towards us. But they're showing us a reflection of ourselves as well. So it's just a reminder to always be conscientious of how we're showing up in relationship. And are we doing so in a way that is automatically reactive to the person we think is in front of us? Or is it based on some greater truth of how, who you are and how you are feeling in the moment? This isn't about ego tripping. It's actually about the opposite. It's about seeing how you have contributed to a particular relationship, to all of your relationships. And um, the first relationship to tend to is the one with yourself. Here we go. My goodness, my phone just blowing up the minute that I tried to start this reading. Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's been a quiet morning, but I can tell that the day is about to take a turn and get pretty busy. So, uh, you know, I do have to balance these activities between, you know, what's going on 
in my life. So, um, but I love, I love doing it. And I know that not a lot of people watch these videos and I don't really care because I love it. Okay, where are we going? Oh yes, the Empress. Venus, hello. Taurus, hello. Um, astrologically, there's a lot of reasons for this card to be showing up. Venus retrograde. <laughs> All of our relationships, all of all of the matters of the heart right now are under a microscope. This is illuminating personal issues, answers that we need. Parts of you that have been hidden or put away or left in the past, left behind. It's all coming back right now. It's intense. It's intense, but it'll be fine. Don't worry. Queen of Swords. Eight of uh, Pentacles, the Star, Judgment, the Seed, uh, Winter, Justice, Messages, well, it's the Owls, and the Emperor. Okay. In the recent past, Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and the Shooting Star. The Shooting Star is just, it's, a, it's an extra card in this deck. It's, we have, th we have three, four of the special extra cards from this deck on the table. It's about making a wish. So someone here has realized, has perhaps maybe reconnected with, with their idea uh, of, a, of a wish that they have. Someone is picking it back up. Or maybe it's a new wish, a new desire. Either way, someone has decided to do the work. Someone has found the clarity, the discernment to actually do the work towards this shooting star of theirs. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Judgment, the seed, and winter. Judgment is about self-assessment. It's about, again, looking at ourselves and our paths, our past. This is a time when a lot of things are falling away right now. It's making room for new growth. That's the seed. New growth comes. A, seed's, a seed sprouts in the depths of darkness. This card is so dark, you can hardly see it. Uh, but I am getting the second edition of this deck and it's the colors have been sort of like revamped. I'm so excited to see it when it comes in, but probably not till February. I'll wait a while and I'm, I'm fine with that. So in the present, right, the, the desire for growth, acknowledging that there are parts of you that need to expand, that need to grow. First comes the realization, then you plant the seeds and then you hibernate. You really have to take that this is such slow moving energy. It takes time to find the answers that you need to find the pieces of you that you want to nurture and develop. And so the winter card, besides it literally being winter now today, hello, winter solstice. It is about spending time with loved ones and like really caring and nurturing for yourself. I'm not talking about excessive indulgence. There is that risk of Indulgence, of course, every time we turn towards self-care or maybe there's the risk of, I'll say, um, escapism, right? Hibernation. Hibernation is when we sort of hide away. But that's not what I'm getting with this. I'm getting, you know, put your head down, do the work. I'm also getting that this is going to take a long time to build this back up. Justice. Justice is Libra. Didn't we have a Libra here? No. Cancer, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, that's fine. This is about something finally coming back into balance. After possibly a long time of being unbalanced.
in the near future here. This is... Again, Owls is like one of those special cards. It's just saying that there are messages coming through right now. The Emperor, which is Aries. It's almost like the message is like, take the first step. This is about, in the immediate future, taking the first step towards balance, towards accountability. I see the crescent moon here. I see the crescent moon here. The crescent moon is about building yourself up. Getting the courage, getting the strength to accept this message. Or even just to communicate. This is the only action that is required right now is communication. That's why with this full moon in Gemini, the answers you need are coming. Something will be revealed. This is a time of revelations in general. Revelations leading to, um, you know, now getting new information. And now with new information, we can see the context of ourselves a little bit differently. In our relationships. Yeah. I mean this this one this one felt pretty straightforward. Let me read from the Moonology book because I always get some extra little messages in here that give me more inspiration. Let's see. First we have full moon in cancer. Where are you at, Cancer? A personal issue reaches resolution. Meditate to soothe heightened emotions. Don't be clingy. Stop sulking. And have you had enough family time lately? <laughs> you know, the moon is at home in Cancer, right? Like the moon is the ruler of Cancer or, or vice versa. This means that the card, there's a sense that all is well. Don't worry. All is as it should be. There are fine sensibilities around, so tread carefully as you move towards your goals or dreams. This card indicates an especially feminine time. Heralds the time to deal with any family issues. Signals a challenge is now coming to an end. The card suggests both a domestic matter or private issue will co soon come to a head and that it's a great time to move house. The answer to your question lies in being a kind leader. This is the time for you to step up and agree to overcome your insecurities. It may be best to move towards what you want in a sideways manner. Oh my gosh, like crab walking. There may be an explosion of feelings around now or surrounding your question. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been feeling that, an explosion of emotions. And, like, not, not any specific emotions either, just sort of all at once, everything. So thanks for that, universe. Full moon, Gemini. Where are you at? All right. This card is a reminder that it is important to speak your truth, but remember that your words have consequences and impact your listener. Right now, you need to guard against indiscretion. The answers you may need you need may well come soon. The issue you're facing could well be one or few conversations away from being resolved. If you're inquiring about love situation, a little flirting may be called for. If you're in the middle of an argument, this card comes to you as a reminder of the very old non-Gemini message, Least said, soonest mended. It's good to talk, but be careful what you aren't saying. Be careful you aren't causing yourself any issues with your words. Your word is your wand. You create magic in your own reality every time you express yourself. This is about have an important conversation, but stay calm. Don't be superficial. Someone is trying to flirt with you. Have you noticed? You need to laugh off the situation and just move on. And job applications have good prospects. Cool. And uh, finally, the full moon Aquarius. Show the world the real you. 
This card brings the message from the cosmos that you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about. Someone might be keeping you at arm's length now, but it's no bad thing. It's important for you to allow life to unfold and progress, even if change seems like a frightening prospect. If you've been holding yourself back from showing the world the real you, this card reminds you that your unique characteristics are what make you special. In a relationship, you are being too aloof. Uh, mm, sorry. In a... <clears throat> In a relationship, are you being too aloof or detached? Go ahead and be yourself in whatever is coming up for you. Attune to the moon. Be aware of your feelings, but also be prepared to move on. Don't lose the beauty and romance of life. You're too much in your head. Get into your heart. A friend needs you. Be there for them. A situation is going to take a very unexpected turn. Interesting. I mean, didn't we get a message earlier about clinginess? The full moon cancer. Don't be clingy. Let's see that again. Don't be clingy. And then in the Aquarius card says, Aquarius is the opposite of clingy. So the full moon Aquarius is asking, what needs to go? What is the right thing to do? Whatever happens next could be highly unconventional or unexpected. Didn't I say that this was, this is, this period of time right now, this week especially, huge implications for healing, um, unresolved things, you know, parts of ourself, especially as we relate to others, are coming under a microscope with Venus and Capricorn. Cap Venus and Capricorn is all about like, what are the rules? What is the foundation? It's about breaking the foundation of how we've been expected to show up or how we've trained ourselves through methods of survival and protecting ourselves to show up for others and ourselves all of that is on the table now so um, every person's journey will be extremely unique but also extremely significant um, go ahead and look at your birth chart and see where Venus is like which house it's in and then you can also search what it means for Venus retrograde to be in the house that it is in your natal chart It'll just give you some food for thought. Okay, I gotta go, but thanks for tuning into this reading, and I'll see you in the next one.